we've heard a lot about washing our hands with soap and water and doing it for a good extended amount of time, more than maybe what we normally do. Uh, people t told us to sing a certain song, the doxology, or You Are My Sunshine, or uh, Star Spangled Banner. I don't know, you could whistle Dixie, I guess, but uh, to do it for at least 20 seconds to get your hands to be good and clean. But uh, we've heard a lot about soap lately. So soap is something I wanna talk about today. Soap refers to the substance we use to cleanse our bodies, especially our hands. But there's another kind of cleansing, kind of cleansing that the Bible refers to quite often actually, about the cleansing of our souls and our spirits and our motives, uh, our, our right relationship with God. Here's one from Psalm 51, seven. It says, purify me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. And hyssop uh, was a biblical herb and it was a purifier and its name actually means holy herb. It was used in rituals and teas and wound healing and baths. And David refers to hyssop here in, in this particular passage, Psalm 51, uh, as a part of his repentant lament after he had sinned with Bathsheba, uh, he says, cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. That's much different than just taking a bar of soap and washing it in the sink. It's something internal. It's something uh, to get you back right with God. Let me suggest a way that we can do this on a daily basis, on a pretty consistent basis too. I sort of flow in and out of seasons of needing to do this, but it's using the word SOAP as an acronym. S standing for scripture. It's where you take a, uh, just a, just a uh, short passage of scripture and you uh, think about it, you pray over it, you, um, you observe it. That would be what O stands for, observation. You observe it and you write down your observations about that scripture. You may be just restating it in your, your own words. And um, just to, to sort of get that in, in your mind about what God is trying to say and, and who he's saying it to and why he's saying it. And then uh, application, uh, the A in SOAP would stand for application. That's where you apply it to your own life. What's going on in your life right now? How does this passage relate to that uh, thing in your life that uh, you're dealing with, uh, things that are uh, disturbing to you, things that uh, bring you joy even. Uh, just just really uh, line out several lines of how God uh, might want you to apply that particular scripture to your life. And then P in SOAP stands for prayer, uh, to pray about what you just learned from that particular passage. Uh, lift up to God uh, the needs that uh, sort of emerge from that uh, observation and application of Scripture. Uh, it's, a, it's a tremendous way to, to cleanse our hearts on a daily basis. It takes us to a place of repentance often. And repentance isn't sackcloth and ashes all the time. It's simply just to becoming real with God and saying, God, you know, this, this I know is, is out of whack in my life. This is wrong. This shouldn't be like this, whatever this is. And then just admit it to him and, and be real with him and talk to him like a friend, just like I'm talking to you right now. It's no different than that. And I know many of you do that, but if you don't, try it. Soap. Try some soap on your soul. S-O-A-P. Scripture. Observation. Application. And prayer. Um, let's sing a song right now and uh, that has to do with um, nothing about soap, but uh, it does have to do about our relationship with God. It's called, um, well, let me get my guitar. This is a great song. It's by Kurt Kaiser many years ago, used in many youth groups, called Pass It On.
it's glowing. That's how it is with God's love. Once you've experienced it, you want to see it's fresh like spring. thank you that you're not just interested on us cleaning the outside of our bodies even though that is important we do ask lord that you'd help us on that daily cleansing of our uh, spirit and our soul our connection with you helping to make it right again uh, thank you for the soap that you give us to uh, use scripture and observation of that scripture and application of that scripture and then uh, simply lifting it to you in prayer as we're doing now. Uh, thank you for our church family. Thank you that even though we're scattered sort of in our dispersion right now, uh, we will gather back together one day. And we praise you for that time that we will be able to uh, learn of you and worship you and sing of you and pray to you uh, once again face to face. We give you this time now. And we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you too. You guys have a great day. And we'll talk to you again uh, later this week. God bless you.